gallery block overview and how to use guide in this video we'll walk you uh, we'll see how what the gallery image gallery block in Gutenberg does and how to use it so image galleries are a great way to share groups of images pictures on your website as per the gallery block description says so let's see what we can do this. so how to add the gallery block uh, like any other block in Gerenberg you can add the gallery block in a different ways like you can either click on this plus sign which appears under and above uh, each block like this or you can click from this here so you can either click on this and search for the gallery and click on it or you can uh, click this plus which appears at the end of the page content you can add the gallery here or you can also suppose you select here and suppose you need to add the gallery block here you need to click on this and then click the gallery element so these are the few ways and there's one more way um i suppose you need to add a gallery now you have uh, you wrote a paragraph and you need to add a gallery now so you just need to hit enter uh, start typing by forward slash and type gallery and hit enter or click here and it will add the gallery block but this is not the only uh, but uh in Gutenberg editor you don't need to take the gallery block first there is not this is not necessary to uh, take the gallery block first uh, to add image galleries you can add the galleries uh, add a gallery directly by dragging drag and drop multiple images in your Gutenberg editor let's see how that works so suppose uh, I need a gallery here I'll just open up my folder uh, on my computer and I'll go through go to some uh, I'll go to the folder let me find it dummy images okay so I'll just uh, take a few images from here and I'll just drop it somewhere wherever I need like this sorry like this and you'll see uh, this uh, this has been converted into a nice gallery block right as you can see here this is a nice gallery block all these images are uh, adjusted into three columns which I can change obviously I'll look into this uh, a bit later so this is this the all these images have been converted added to the page and converted automatically to a gallery block this is pretty nice right and then let's uh, see what the gallery block toolbar has and what it does so the gallery block toolbar is also divided into three parts the first one is the transform option these three are alignment and this little pencil icon is to edit the gallery so let's see what each one does so the transform option as uh, you might already know control allows you to change or transform your block to another compatible block by just a click so let's see what transform option gives us for the gallery block so here's the option and we can just a second here's the gallery block option transform option so we can transform the gallery block into an image so what this will does basically this will uh, ungroup all these images into individual image blocks let's see what happens if i click on this you see this these all are separated into individual image blocks so the transform option on the gallery block does uh, allow you to transform your images into individual gallery block now suppose if you need to turn them back into the gallery you need to select all your images you need to you can click it and you can shift click all uh, other images or multiple images and then you can transform them back to um, to your let me select all 
and then I can click on this and click on gallery and then they be transformed into into the gallery block again right so what's next now we'll see uh, there is an alignment option so obviously alignment option I don't see currently working fine for me maybe I'm missing uh, some part here so it should align the gallery to uh, suppose we, this is the gallery on the top and we have a paragraph here but I'm not sure how this ex exactly work right now but this should align the gallery to left center and right all right and then we have this edit icon this edit icon we have just a second please okay we have this edit icon and this will bring open up this pop-up window and what we can do here is we can add more images to the gallery like this and it's been added we can add multiple images and also we can remove images like this or we can remove images from create new gallery button you can remove images here as well and you can reorder the images from this pop-up if you can if you want to remove an image just click on this and then update the gallery by clicking on this button again and it should update the gallery on your page with the correct order you have set in the pop-up so this is what the edit icon works now we need to look into the gallery block inspector control or the sidebar controls in the sidebar we have a few controls a few options for customize the gallery block so the first one is the columns uh, option so you can adjust the columns of your gallery from one to up to eight columns depending how many images you have like I currently have six images so it is not obviously giving me the option to make it eight column because we have maximum six images and they all are in one row now but if you have more than eight images you can set up to eight column gallery in Gutenberg editor so one thing next thing is let's see this so next thing is you see this gallery is looking pretty nice each image is set, is having um, equal height in each row uh, let's make it three column right so if th what this option crop images does is it, it makes it look like this beautiful each image in a row is covering the full height depending on the maximum height of an image so if I un disable this option it will make it look bad you see this image is uh, now having a, a specific image hide there and this does not look good so make sure you have enabled this in most cases you will need to enable this to make them look good next we have the option to select uh, make these images linkable to either media file or attachment by default it's set to none and then obviously you can add a CSS custom CSS class to your uh, gallery blog if you need to style it some differently in your via your CSS file or your custom CSS code, you can pass a class to it right here. Uh, this is this is how uh, the image gallery block images gallery block in Gutenberg works really. And if you need to remove the the last thing we'll see is how to remove a get image from. It. So you have a few ways. The one I showed you earlier, but if you simply need to remove an image you can click on this particular image in the gallery and you'll see this icon which says remove image just click on this and it will remove the image from the gallery it's that simple hope it helps you thank you